Hello and welcome to the VCE Maths presentation. The most important thing to remember is you don't study maths because you're smart. Maths makes you smarter. Maths builds the brain to help you see connections and builds the neural pathways. Maths helps you work on unfamiliar tasks with confidence. Maths helps you produce accurate results and come to logical conclusions. This is important in all careers. Maths help you analyze and solve problems with creativity. People who can do all of this are very valuable in society. So study maths, and study it the right way, and you will become smart. There are two main streams in VCE mathematics. Further maths is maths for everyone. It covers some of the key mathematical ideas everyone needs in every work of life, financial maths and statistics. The other stream is methods and specialists. This is maths for specialist courses, such as engineering. So who needs to study maths? You should use the course tracker to look up the course you want to complete and check the maths requirements. Remember, you could change your mind, so keeping at maths until unit three and four gives you the widest range of courses. If you don't do VCE maths, there are 555 courses you simply cannot study. Other courses, including nursing, education, electrical and plumbing apprenticeships require maths. Finally, all jobs, and businesses require some maths, and some require you to complete a maths test to get the job. You probably need to study maths. So which maths should you study? The first option is foundation mathematics. It's an option to study to have a VCE mathematics class. Here are some of the courses that require general mathematics and or further mathematics. You'd want to be getting at least a C in Year 9 or Year 10 Maths to do these subjects. General Mathematics, Units 1 and 2, leads to Further Mathematics, Units 3 and 4. It's the easiest Unit 3 and 4 Maths options, so it's the one for most students. Some of the ideas are quite simple. In fact, easier than Year 10 Maths, because there's less algebra and complicated graphing. Some students can finish most of the work in class. Others may need to complete one hour of extra work each day. There are two exams. One is multiple choice, the other is short answer. Notes and calculators are allowed for all assessments. However, it's still very competitive to do well and get a high score. The actual Saxon examinations can be quite challenging. Here you can see the topics for General Maths Unit 1 and 2 and for Further Mathematics Units 3 and 4. Now you can see in red some of the courses that require mathematical methods and or specialist mathematics. You'd want to be getting a B plus, A or A plus in Year 9 or Year 10 Mathematics to do these subjects. And you want to have great skills in Algebra and Graphing. Let's look at Math Methods. It is the middle difficulty option. There's a huge amount of content covered in the Math Methods course. There's a large amount of Algebra and Graphing required, so prospective students should be very skillful at these things. Students should be consistently achieving A grades in their current maths. You need a great work ethic to do math methods. In fact, many students need to do work for two or more hours outside class, on average, each day in mathematical methods. For units three and four, the exams are worth 66% of the marks. There are two challenging exams. There's one shorter exam, goes for an hour, with no calculator and no notes. It's worth 22%. And there's one two hour exam with calculator and notes that's worth 44%. The remainder of the marks are from the school based SACs. Here you can see all the major topics from Math Methods. As you can see, the major topics are introduced in Units 1 and 2, and they're expanded upon in Units 3 and 4. Because of this, many students actually find Unit 1 and 2 methods to be more demanding and challenging than Units 3 and 4. 
because there is so much new content. Now let's look at specialist maths, which is the most difficult of the VCE maths subjects. There's not as much content as methods, but it's conceptually more difficult. Because of this, students need to be able to cope with difficult concepts and be very resilient, not give in. For some courses, if students haven't completed specialist maths, they'll be required to complete the equivalent content at university. Students should complete methods before specialist or at the same time. Students should be achieving A or A plus in their current maths class. It has the same assessment structure as math methods at unit three and four level. Here, you can see the topics for specialist mathematics. There is some overlap with the topics in math methods, and there's also overlap with the topics from physics. So specialist mathematics can work very well for students who are doing both of those subjects as well. Here you can see some of the possible maths pathways. From left to right, you can work from the year level you're in to the year 11 or the year 12 package that you would like to do. It's important to note that you can go to further math from methods one and two, but you can't go into math methods from general maths. So if you want to do methods three and four, you need to make sure you're in methods one and two. You'll also note that there's a question mark between year nine maths and methods one and two. This is a tough jump and many prerequisite skills for methods are learnt in year 10 maths. Might be better off waiting. So now you've heard the information, you might be thinking, what do I do if my maths grades aren't good enough for the pathway I want? Well, the guidelines are here to help you succeed. If you're not at that level, you might find it pretty tough. So it is a problem. But you can make a difference by improving your skills. If you work harder at it, you will get better. You need to talk with your maths teacher, maybe your family or a tutor. Make a plan and put in the effort. It will make a difference. Because remember, you're not just studying maths to get yourself into a course. You're studying maths because it makes you smarter. Thanks for listening.